Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 on our 2023 Cadillac XT4. The Sherpa is a two bike platform style bike rack capable of supporting two bikes up to 40 pounds each, held primarily by this wheel hook here and one strap in the back. It's nice that it is held on by the actual wheel rather than the frame. So if you do want to use carbon frame bikes, you can, and alternative frame style bikes should work just fine as well. One of the nicest features that this rack offers is the ability to tilt it away with the bike loaded up. So just by pulling this lever here down at the bottom, holding on to the actual rack itself, you can tilt it away, which we found gives us plenty of clearance to get into the back of our vehicle. And once it's open, we also do have plenty of room back here to come back and sit down if we need to, or get anything out of the back if we need to do that as well. Taking the bike off is really simple. Just start by the secondary point of contact with the strap in the back. Just release that lever and hold on to the bike itself. Press the button on the hook, pull it up, slide it down, and the bike can just be lifted up and away. I like to put these straps back just to keep them secure. I also do want to point out that these cradles in the back do pivot to support wheelbases up to 47 inches. Additionally, the front cradle here does close down to condense the whole rack and to smooth things out a little bit. And then the middle hook just places back in the middle here. The Sherpa also comes with this cable lock. It's not integrated onto the rack itself, but it is included and it will fit into this lock core right here on the front of the rack. In this position, the Sherpa does add a little bit of distance to the back of the vehicle. Let's take a measurement now just to see how much it actually adds. So from the bumper to the furthest point back of the rack, comes in at about 31 and a quarter inches. So in this state, it is gonna take up a little bit of room behind. As far as ground clearance goes, from the top of this tray, or from the ground to the bottom of this tray rather, is 23 inches. It does have a little bit of a rise in the shank. So 23 inches on this car, definitely nice as far as ground clearance goes. But if you don't wanna live with it in this position, the rack also does offer the ability to fold up. In this position, it does sit a little bit closer to the back of the vehicle, but it definitely saves some space from the bumper to the furthest point back. Now it comes in at about 13 and a half inches. So basically thirds the distance from the back to what you're adding on your back of the vehicle. As far as how close it is to the bumper, the closest point, it's about three and a quarter inches so not as close as I originally thought, and the folding cradles definitely helps that. But it's one of the sturdier racks that we offer, so it's not going to get very close to your vehicle while you're driving. We do have a 2-inch shank that fits into our 2 by 2 inch receiver tube, held in place by this pin with a lock on the end that is key to like to that cable lock that we talked about earlier, all secured by this anti-rattle knob in the back. It's tool-free, so that's a nice, easy installation process and the anti-rattle knob keeps everything nice and secure. The Kuat Sherpa is a really nice rack. It looks really nice and it performs even better. I like the fact that it tilts away with the bikes loaded up and I like that it folds up to save space when the bikes are off. Overall, if you want to maybe compare it to anything, Kuat Transfer might be a good option for you if you need a little bit more weight capacity or a little bit more accessibility. But overall, the Sherpa 2.0 performs really well and it's a really nice fit on the 2023 Cadillac XT4. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage or driveway. So we can see here how the bike rack moves with our truck. 